I'm here with Teresa Brown, a third grade teacher at Broadneck Elementary School in Arnold, Maryland, who has noticed the many, many benefits of using a document camera in her classroom versus all the other forms of technology out there today. So I'm going to start by asking you to explain your decision-making process when trying to find a form of classroom technology to be fit for your classroom. Yes, first I went to a technology conference because I just wanted to see what kinds of things were out there. I knew I wanted to add some technology to my classroom. And when I was there, I saw the interactive whiteboard, so I thought that's what I wanted to get. So I went to my principal and asked her if I could get an interactive whiteboard. And she gave me the go-ahead, and I then went to another meeting to determine which interactive whiteboard would be the best one for my classroom. While I was there, I saw the Avermedia 530 document camera and fell in love with it. So that's what I, I went back to my principal and asked her if I could get that instead, and I have it. <laughs> so why did you prefer to purchase a document camera versus all the other forms of technology out there? Well, I knew, knew right away that I would use that every day. It seemed like I would, it would replace my overhead projector, which meant no more glare, no more ink on my hands, no more transparencies to clean, no more heated surface. And I also could saw that you'd be able to do a lot of other things with it. For example, being able to put students' work up right away rather than having to wait the next day, make a transparency of it, come back and show it the next day. I also knew that I'd be able to with students showing their work right away, other kids could read it along instead of just listening to their answers. Since using your document camera, have you noticed any advantages over using an interactive whiteboard? Uh, like I said, I think it helps them to be able to show their work right away. And therefore, I get lots of students wanting to raise their hand and participate. Students who may normally not want to share their work are more eager to do so. I think part of that's because they can go right up there and the, the students, the rest of the class, is looking at their work rather than them when they're reading their answer. So I know you have benefited right off the bat from using your AverVision 530 in the classroom, but what benefits have you noticed your students receiving from using the document camera on a daily basis? Yes, I think the students have benefited greatly with the neatness in their work. That has improved a big deal because they know that I'm going to put up work that I can read. Mm -hmm. So they're more anxious to write neatly so that they can share their work. Uh, another thing I notice is in math, I expect students in third grade to show their answers and show how they got their work. Mm -hmm. and with the, they know that I won't put their work up there or they won't be able to put their work up there if they haven't shown how they got their answer and they do that now all the time. They do it during tests and other times when their homework and times when they wouldn't normally share their work just because they've gotten into that routine of showing. Now speaking of students, has the classroom participation changed at all? Again, yes. <laughs> <laughs> students really want to, they want to raise their hand. They're students above average, average, below average students, it doesn't matter. They all want to participate. They're anxious to get their work displayed on the, and see it on the big screen. <laughs> so I get a lot of students that are volunteering and... Like a wow just, factor. <laughs> yes, exactly. So how have you used your AverVision document camera combined with other forms of technology in the classroom? One of the things that I do is use the computer and make PowerPoint slideshows of things that I want the students to take a look at. And then we'll go back and forth between the working document on the document camera to the PowerPoint. And we'll, we'll look at that and see what kind of text features we're looking at or other um, whatever specific skill we're looking for. And then we'll go back and forth and I'll, we'll add to the working document and then go back and refer to the PowerPoint again. So are there any specific features or functions that you absolutely love or you notice you use on a daily basis? One of the things I really liked is that arm that you, you can maneuver. The mechanical arm. The, the mechanical mm -hmm. arm. For example, I like to um, show chemical change and it used to do, I would make a pancake and all the class would have to gather around and they couldn't all see it at one time <laughs> but with the document camera I can swing that arm back and I didn't, wouldn't want to put the hot plate on the camera mm -hmm. itself but I can swing that arm around and they can focus on that and they'll see the bubbles as the chemical reactions are occurring. I can flip the pancake over and they see that it's turned brown and other uh, evidence so of chemical other change. So all the can see at the same time too which is great. Exactly. No one's missing out on the pancake. <laughs> right. Now you mentioned that you were teetering back and forth between the decision of purchasing an interactive whiteboard. Do you regret the decision of purchasing your AverVision 530 document camera versus an interactive whiteboard? 
Not at all. I use this every day and it's, it's become my right arm. I think it's changed my teaching style and it makes teaching exciting and I think it makes learning exciting for the students as well. I don't know what I'd do without it. And, I, <laughs> and every year, day I'm finding new uses for it.